there, this is Stacy. I hope everyone's having a great day. I am here today to do the lipstick tag, and I was tagged by Marnie, Miss Skullgirl, and um, Tammy from Uppy Speeds 59 to do this video. And I think we're all lipstick addicts. And for me, a lipstick just kind of makes me happy buying a new lipstick, whether I need one or not. And pretty much um, I don't need a new lipstick, but you know, sometimes you just kind of want something to make you feel better. So that's what I do. So I have a piece of paper right here that just kind of has um, each of the questions for me so I don't get off track. So the first thing is my favorite balm. And two of my favorite balms are the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Lip Protectant Cream Balm, whatever. And uh, this is what it looks like. You can see this one's almost out. I have many a backup of this. Um, I don't believe it's really for sale very much anymore. I think you can get it in more of like a lipstick form. Uh, they still have these, I believe, though, at TJ Maxx. It comes in a little kit with this and the 8-hour cream. So if you're interested in that, I think TJ Maxx usually has that. Another lip balm that I really like is from um, Sarah Happ, and it's called the Lip Slip. And this is just a real thick balm, and I just like to put that on sometimes at night to kind of put that on my lips for when I'm sleeping. So my best eye-catching red. I am not a huge, huge fan of red lipsticks. Um, I go for things that are a little bit more sheer, and two of my favorite reds are this YSL, and this one is the sheer candy kind, and it is um, number six, and I don't remember the name of it. I think it's something with cherry in it. Um, but I tend to go for products that are more sheer um, when I go for brighter colors. That's just kind of the way I operate. Um, next would be this one that's fairly new for me. And I got this when I was on my cruise, actually. And it's the Rouge in Love from Lancome. And it is number 159B. And again, it's um, just a little bit more of a sheer kind of a red. And there you go. So that's my two reds. Um, my best luxury brand, I don't necessarily really have a favorite. I think I love all luxury brands because luxury brands just kind of make you feel good. So um, one of my favorite luxury brands is the YSL, and these are the um, glossy stains. I've shown this fairly recently um, as a favorite because I've been using it a lot lately. Um, this one is fuchsia something or other, and it's just a real pretty fuchsia color with some gold fleck in it, and it's really pretty. I really have a lot of favorites. I love the Spanish Pink from Tom Ford. Um, I'm not going to really swatch them all. I'll just kind of show them to you. A lot of them I know you guys have heard of, um, in particular this one, because that's kind of a real popular one. I love my YSL, like this kind, and this one is the Rouge Volupte Shine. So it's not the sheer one, but the shine. And this one actually is number six also. A little coincidence there. And here I am swatching again when I said I wasn't going to. But um, there's that one there. Again, when I go for my brighter colors, they tend to be a little bit more sheer. Um, I love these Giorgio Armani shears that came out a couple years ago. Here's one. And I'll just swatch that one since I'm on a swatching kick all of a sudden. But you can see, again, the bright colors for me usually tend to be sheer. Um, you know, I just pulled out a whole bunch here of different top of the line things just because that's kind of what I usually kind of gravitate toward. I love the um, Dior Extreme, Dior Addict Extreme. This one's a nice nude natural sort of a color. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of room. How about I take off my watch? Okay, I'm gonna go for this one on my wrist. So there's that. A nice, real pretty mauve nude color and um, I'll just stop right there as far as those go. So now my best drugstore brand. For me, it would be CoverGirl. Why? Because I love these CoverGirl stains, the Outlast stains. Talk about a stain that's gonna last forever. These things are like war paint, which I've said before, and literally, you're gonna just put this on. There it is, right here. You're gonna let it dry, and when that dries, you're gonna just get out your little balm that it comes with, a moisturizing balm, and you're just going to put that right on top of it and it's going to make it shine right up. And throughout the day your war paint's going to be there and you're just going to keep adding shine to it. And that's why I love it so much. I can literally go the whole entire day, morning to night, with the same lip stain on 
which to me, that is just amazing. Again, it's just, like I said, it's like a war paint. It just stays on forever and ever. So if you ever need something that's going to stay on all day long through meals and drinks and everything else, that is a really good product. Um, and I have it in so many different colors. I even do have it in a red color. Um, this is just another mauve. This one has a little bit of a sheen to it. The other one's a little more matte. My best MAC product, um, I'd have to say as far as MAC goes, I have a lot of lipsticks from MAC. I didn't pull one out as far as a lipstick. I did pull this out because it's actually also my favorite, one of my favorite glosses or best glosses. Um, I like the milky pink colors when it comes to glosses. You guys can see this is just about done. Um, this was that... Um, Lady Gaga one, I guess, is what this one was. Just a real pretty milky pink color from a couple years ago, a lip glass. So I do like the lip glass products. Um, I like the way they smell and all. I think they're kind of like a vanilla sort of a scent in the MAC products. I like that. And as far as like a favorite MAC lipstick, Cream Cup is still just one of my favorites. Um, I forgot to pull it out. But anyway, so milky pink, milky pink. Um, most disappointing for me, um, I just kind of think for me, is products that kind of have fallout. The same way that eyeshadows have fallout, sometimes you'll get a lip gloss, and it doesn't have a fallout per se when you put it on, but it'll leave um, a, a, a sparkle on your lips, and then that sparkle sometimes travels all over your face. That would be a disappointing product for me. And most disappointing, this is actually something that Marnie said too, when a company discontinues your favorite color. That is such a disappointment, um, as anyone can imagine. Number 66, Rose Amethyst, is it for me too. Um, Marnie was saying that. This is my all-time favorite lipstick color. I do have a couple of backups. It's right here. It's not showing up very well, but it is such a pretty nude, mauve -y color, and um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, anyway, it, Estee Lauder kind of has its own distinct um, fragrance as well and it's nice so that's that um, the next question is liner yes or no I would have to say I do not wear liner often and um, I think it's just out of habit I just never picked up the habit of wearing liner um, when I do wear liner I, wear, I tend to wear nudes um, and I'll wear it with my nude lipsticks obviously um, this particular one is Lorac that I pulled out and it's number 18 and it's just a nude color. I think uh, it might be just what it's called there. I don't know where I should put it. How about right there? There it is. So just the kind of nude sort of colors are my favorites in those. Um, my best gloss, I have two basic things that I like. I love gloss like this that's milky pink. And again, it's that same one from MAC, the um, Lady Gaga one, just that milky pink. Love that color over all of my nude mauve pink lipsticks. And then another one that I really love is this one from Bobbi Brown, and it's in the nude family. And I think it's Pink Sunset, yeah, Pink Sunset, number 51 lip gloss, and it's just a real pretty color, and it looks great over nudes. Um, and I like it even sometimes just by itself. You can't see it. It's just totally, totally nude, not showing up. And then something extra, and I'm not sure if this was a legitimate question, something extra, or if this was something that Marnie had added, I don't know, but I wrote down something extra. And I wanted to mention these lipsticks because I did get two of them. And this is a company called Red Apple Lipstick. Um, I kind of think they're more of a new up and coming company. I had done a blog post about them. I don't remember if I did a video or review or not, but their lipsticks are kind of the healthy sort of lipsticks. They're gluten-free, they're paraben-free, they're mineral lipsticks, but they're absolutely gorgeous lipsticks. And this particular one is in the color called Rebel, and I am gonna swatch it because I would hate for you to miss out. So here is that one just right here. The pigmentation is just absolutely amazing on both of the ones that I have. It just wears well. It's moisturizing. So I just wanted to mention that Red Apple Lipstick. Um, I can put a link down below. You can go to their website. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that. But um, anyway, that's just my little extra. So anyway, that's it. That's my favorite lipsticks from this lipstick addict. So I hope everyone's having a great day. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all again soon. Bye.